So what is behind September 24th, 2022? What is in store? What do they all think is going to happen? Well, to be perfectly honest, nobody knows. You had the German Chancellor that sat there and made this wild, ridiculous statement about what, you know, is going to be taking place on that day, then that everybody will remember that day as we do of September 11th. I don't know about you folks, but it seems to me to be a huge fear-mongering issue. I think the powers to be want to control the people through people being scared, through people not knowing exactly what is going to happen. Is it a way that they are trying to incite panic into people of this country or people of the world? We don't know. Nobody will actually come out and say what is going to be taking place. There are quite a few different meetings that are being taking place on that day. One of them being from the Creative Society. And they're going to be discussing a lot of different things um, on September 24th, 2022. Uh, their, their national conference, which will be televised live. And it'll also be on the internet that you can watch live. Uh, they're going to be talking about uh, the true causes and consequences of the inflation that we are in right now. They're also going to be talking about who drives this energy crisis that we've been in. They're going to be talking about climate change, the dangers, and solutions. They're also going to be talking about green energy, uh, scam or solutions, politics and geopolitics, mass shooting solutions. They're also going to be talking about our role as proud citizens. What is the Creative Society format? And least but not last, where will all the money come from to pay for all these agendas that they want to change? Now, what does this all mean? I really don't think you need to be selling everything, taking all your money out of the bank and running out and buying whatever you think you can buy. If you are a prepper, most preppers maybe prep for economy of collapse. They prep for hurricanes. They prep for tornadoes. They prep for natural disasters. Maybe they even prep for EMPs or even on the far extent of nuclear war. But in the end, we are all prepping for the same thing, to survive. So what you mean to make sure that you do have is just make sure you keep doing what you are doing on a daily basis. If something major is about to take place, unfortunately, we cannot change it. We don't know what this situation is, and we don't even know if this is just a bunch of BS to scare everybody. So I'd highly suggest that everybody just stay calm, cool, and collected during this point in time. There's a lot of different videos out there that are coming up with all these ridiculous, as I call them, scare tactics to freak people out and everything else. And I don't think it is necessary at this point in time. So you just stay the course. Keep doing your prepping like you're doing making sure that you have the basic necessities that you need. Water, food, medicine and medical supplies, shelter, a way to heat your home because most Americans live where it gets cold. And furthermore, self-defense. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I just wanted to bring this quick video because I think there's a lot of fear mongering going on over this September 24th, 2022. And I want people to realize that if you are a prepper, this is the reason why you don't freak out. You sit back and you realize 
that I do have supplies, ways to do things, and everything else so that I don't have to worry about when these so-called little stories come out and want to try to scare all the American people and the people of this world into believing something majorly is going to go wrong. When in light, it's probably going to be another day just like today. So until next time. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I'll catch you all on the flip side.